Although not the most well-known water sport out there, wake surfing is quickly gaining in popularity. For those of you who have never heard of it or are just learning about it this sport combines wakeboarding with surfing. Wake surfing just like wakeboarding uses the wake created behind your boat. The difference though is wake surfing doesn't use a rope anchored to the boat. With wake surfing you are free to move about the water on your own. To fully enjoy the experience though you need to have the best wake surfboard. For more information about the best wake surfboards click the link below. What to look for in a wake surfboard. Now that you have decided you want to give wake surfing a try, you need to find just the right wake surfboard. In order to purchase the best one you need to understand a few things about wake surfboards. Some features of wakeboards will make a particular wake surfboard better than another one in specific situations. Here are a few aspects to keep in mind when looking for the best wake surfboard. 1. Tail. This is one of the most important features to consider as it affects how the board rides, but also plays a role in your balance on the water. There are 8 different tail types to choose from. They are as follows. 1.1 Pin Tail. This is the narrowest tail style for wake surfboards. It is the best choice for riders who like bigger waves. The small tail gives the rider a low center of gravity as it dips lower into the water. 1.2 Square Tail. This tail is ideal for riders who are after speed. The tail causes the board to sit high up out of the water so it can be difficult to get your footing and maintain traction. 1.3 Round Tail. This wake surfboard is similar to the pin tail but offers a spacious surface area. The wider back makes this board an excellent choice for tricks and fun turns and can be used in different wave conditions. 1.4 Diamond Tail. His is a mixture of the pin and squash tail. It offers amazing speeds with an easy to maneuver board design. This board is also popular among those who want an easy ride or those who want to perform a variety of tricks. This wake surfboard can be used by riders of all levels. 1.5 Half Moon Tail. This is a rarely seen kind of tail. The design offers minimal board area but allows the rider to turn easily. The ease of turning makes the board an optimal choice for riders who enjoy performing tricks. The wake surfboard can be used with all sized waves. 1.6 Bat Tail. The least common tail style of wake surfboards. This board offers a wide tail and is incredibly stable on the water. The design features sharp corners which make the board easy to maneuver. 2. Rail. The rail is what controls the amount of water that flows over your board, making it one of the most important parts. Thicker rails provide some extra grip, but that added stability will affect your board's speed in the water because the water won't flow as freely over your board. The thinner the rail the faster you can go as the water flows quite freely over the board. There are three different types of rail systems to choose from. 2.1 Full Rail. This is ideal for beginners. The full rail provides a smooth ride and allows you to stand stable on your board. It is hard to make sharp turns with, but is the perfect rail for building confidence. 2.2 Hard Rail. This is the best choice for those with some experience on the board. It is the choice of rail for riders who enjoy doing stunts and tricks on their board. This rail allows the board to turn quickly, but is less stable so harder to ride. 2.3 Blended Rail. This is the rail that is the best choice for just about every wake surfer out there. This rail provides the perfect blend between performance and stability. It allows riders to keep their balance and ride a straight line, but can also turn quite sharply for those who want to practice some stunts. 3. Rocker. The term rocker talks about the amount of curve that your board has when it is on a flat surface. The amount of curve to your board will affect the performance of the board. A heavy rocker sits low in the water which is great for stability. Heavy rockers are also easier to maneuver. The less rocker your board has the faster it can go in the water as it sits higher on the water. 4. Fins. Wake surfboards can come with different fin configurations. The number of fins found on a wake surfboard can vary from 1 to 5. Each configuration has a specific use and will allow riders to achieve different things. 4.11 Fin. This acts like a rudder. This design allows the rider to stay on a straight path and will guide the board in the water. 4.22 Fins. 
This provides more control in the water and is ideal for smaller waves. 4.33 Fins These can be used in every wave situation and offer the most versatility. The extra fin will increase your velocity greatly without much effort. 4.44 Fins This allows for the most speed possible and can handle the biggest waves. 4.55 Fins this allows for the most stability, but you will see a drop in speed as the fifth fin creates added resistance and drag through the water. For more information about about the best wake surfboards click the link below.